Uh, Bailey out. Uh, some sort of injury. Nine months is what it's looking like. Training injury. No, I do not think she's pregnant. Even though the chat is all getting all wacky. Because mm -hmm. that's what they... They've been wacky all day today, so I'm going to try to ignore them. So here wait, is wait, the... Wait, 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 wait. All day? Have you been following along with these people and their different Twitch adventures throughout the day? Uh, I've been on there for, for a long time now, yes. Not literally all day, Mike. Oh, okay. Are we playing... What are we playing here? Okay, so listen. First off, yesterday we talked about the Dave Meltzer, Brian Alvarez live Q&A taking place over All Out Weekend. The address, f4wchicago.brownpapertickets.com. That is f4wchicago.brownpapertickets.com. We had three packages available. Two of them are completely sold out. We have a handful of tickets left for only the Q&A. So if you want to uh, grab one of those, uh, grab it now. Otherwise, you'll probably be gone by the end of the day. That's f4wchicago.brownpapertickets.com. It's on my Twitter at Brian Alvarez. Click the link, all the info, time, date, blah, blah, blah is all up there. But if you're going to Chicago and you want to attend this Q&A, you must get your ticket soon. AW All Out is sold out. They are all out of available tickets at this moment. The pre-sale sold nearly every available ticket, and then they went on sale officially today, and we're uh, gone. So about 11,000 fans, September 5th, third all-out in company history, second to be held at the same venue. They're doing three shows that week. Dynamite on Wednesday, Rampage on Friday, and the pay-per-view on Sunday. Somehow this got screwed up on our front page. Rampage is not on Sunday. Rampage is on Friday. And uh, the pay-per-view is on Sunday. And uh, still a good number of seats available for Rampage and Dynamite. And obviously the only thing announced officially for All Out is the Casino Battle Royale. But if you watch the television on Wednesday, I mean, they pretty much told you it's going to be Kenny Omega uh, challenging or defending the title against Hangman Page and also likely Chris Jericho and MJF. And a number of other matches as well. And do not forget that at the beginning of this year, when we were deep in the middle of a pandemic wave, I predicted that SummerSlam and All Out would completely sell out, packed full of fans. So come on, SummerSlam, don't let me down. I want that, I want that prediction trophy this year. Speaking of fans, the fans that go to Chicago that weekend are going to make it a big weekend for professional wrestling in any group that happens to be running in and around the Chicago land area, which I know a lot of them are going to. That's another indirect benefit of AEW or any group uh, in their position, making another hub weekend for wrestling fans. And whereas WrestleMania and the WWE have tried to, and it, they're completely within their rights to do so, kind of try to dominate WrestleMania weekend because they saw the attention that other groups would get kind of latching on to them where they've tried to blanket the entire weekend. Obviously, AEW is running a lot in Chicago, so for, the, so for them to add another show, say, on Saturday would be somewhat insane, actually, with the schedule that they have there. I don't think that they would do that anyway. I think a lot of the wrestlers they have under contract work for other indies. They have favorite indies that they work for that they have written into their deal. So that's another indirect benefit of this is all of those fans that are going to descend on Chicago WrestleMania weekend or WrestleMania weekend all out weekend and make it like another WrestleMania weekend. So yay to that. We got the AW Road Rager. Ratings report here, 871,000 viewers, down 1.4%, 18 to 49, a .33, which is down from the .35 last week. No NBA playoff games. They did go head-to-head -head with Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Finals, which did 3 million viewers. The 18 to 34 demo, .09. Maybe the lowest Dynamite has ever done on Wednesday in that category. They were up 21.8% year over year, up 14.3% from last year in 18 to 49. And 18, uh, I think it's 35 to 49 
is uh, increasing. 18 to 34 is decreasing. That's been the trend of late. And this was the first show on the return to touring. Kids want to go outside and play in the summertime, all right? Even if it's with each other when you get to the ages of between 18 and 25 and you're in your prime bar years, those kids got something to do. So I don't blame them for this. If it's still down in the fall, let me know. What's going on, Vinny? Look who's in studio here today. It's me. We're doing a retro 2005 show here today. This mic that I'm using right now oh, no. is the same microphone that I used for IATA. I am wearing glasses because when the show started in 2005, I was wearing glasses and not contact lenses. Livid. Steaming mad. Got the guitar behind me right here because uh, I hit you with the guitar in that picture we were looking at. I enjoyed it because I got to eat more hamburgers. Beak. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.